Hello, in this video we are going to evaluate without making use of a calculator, we have 3 to the power of 13 minus 3. So what we are going to do is we can write this 3 to the power of 13 as 3 to the power of 12 plus 1, we have minus 3. And we make use of this identity a to the power of n plus m equals a to the power of n times a to the power of m. So let's apply this identity right here. We are going to have 3 to the power of 12 times we have 3. Then we have minus 3. So what we, what we are going to do is we can as well factor out 3 because we have it here and here. So that means we are going to have 3 into, we have 3 to the power of 12 minus, if we divide this 3 by this 3, we are going to have 1. So we proceed. The next thing we are going to do is this 3 to the power of 12, we can write it as, let's have our 3 outside here. And here we can write this as, we can have 3 to the power of 6 times 2, because 6 times 2 is 12. We have minus 1. Then, this equals, we have 3. And here we can apply this identity, if you have a to the power of n times m. This equals a to the power of n or 3 power of m. So let's apply this identity right here. That means we are going to have 3 to the power of 6. Let's make this a square bracket. Then we have this raised to the power of 2. And we have minus 1. And this one we can as well raise it to the power of 2. Because 1 to the power of 2 is 1. So we proceed again. Now if you look at what we have here, this is 2 and this power here is 2, we can make use of difference of 2 squares. If you have a power 2 minus b power 2, this equals, we have a plus b times a minus b. And in this case, our a is 3 power 6 and b equals 1. So let's do that. We are going to have 3 into, so this, let's start with a plus b, we are going to have 3 power 6 plus 1, then we have 3 power 6 minus 1. And let's do that. What is the value of 3 power 6? 3 power 6 simply equals, we have 7 to 9. So we are going to replace this 3 power 6 with this 7 to 9 we have here. So we are going to have 3 into, let's have this 7 to 9 plus 1. And we have 7 to 9 minus 1. And this will give us 3 into 7 to 9 plus 1. We are going to have 730. And 7 to 9 minus 1, we are going to have 7 to 8. So the next thing we are going to do is we need to multiply this and this out. So we can have it this way. So let's rewrite this 730 as we can have 700 plus 30 and we have 700 plus 28. So the next thing we are going to do is at this point, we can say let x equal 700. So if x equals 700, we are going to have, this will give us 3, then we have x plus 30 we have x plus 28 and let's go ahead and multiply this out so x times x x times 28 30 times x and 30 times 28 so that's how we are going to multiply it out we have 3 into if you expand this bracket you are simply going to have x squared that is x times x plus 28 x that is x times 28 plus 30 x that is 30 times x and we plus we have plus 30 times 28 we are going to have 840 so let's proceed this will give us 3 into we have x squared plus 28x plus 30x we are going to have 58x plus 840 so at this point the next thing is for us to recall that our x x equals Seven hundred. So that means we are going to insert 
7 on the way we have x, we have 7 on the power 2 plus 58 into 700 plus 840. So let's multiply that out. That means we are going to have 3 into 700 squared. We are going to have 49000. Then we have plus 58 times 7. You know, 58 times 7 will give us 406. So this will give us 40600 0, 0, plus 840. So let's go ahead and add up this, what we have inside this bracket. So you have 49000. 0, 0. You have 4600. Let me write it here. 40, 600, then you have 840. So we are going to add up this. Give us 0, 4. This is 6 plus 4, 6 plus 8. That is 14. 4 carry over 1. We add here 9 plus 4. We have 13, 3 and carry over 1. And this will give us 5. So let's have it here. We are going to have 3 into 531440. So we are going to multiply this out and this will give us our final answer. So you have 531440 multiplying 3. So 3 times 0, we have 0. 3 times 4, we have 12. 2 carry over 1. 3 times 4 again. We have 12, 12 plus 1, we have 13, 3 and carry over 1. So we have 3 times 1, that is 3, plus 1 we have 4. Then we have 3 times 3, 9. Then we have 3 times 5, 15. So the answer is 1594320. So we have this equals one five nine four three two zero. So that is it for the video. Thank you and goodbye.